Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this simple DIY journal. The dot paper we will be making would be perfect for bullet journals and any other journals alike. All materials and links can be found down in the description, so check that out when you start this project. First things first, I found this free dot grid pattern that worked for a standard letter sized paper on this awesome blog. I went ahead and checked out some of her content and it's definitely worth looking around. Once you have it open, go ahead and load 12 sheets of 8.5x11 drawing paper into the printer, and then hit print. Make sure to check off the fit to page so the printer doesn't downsize your dots. After printing the one side, reload the printer to print on the blank side and hit print again. Now you have solid quality dot grid paper. Next, take a sheet at a time and fold the paper in half lengthwise. Insert them into each other and place that aside for now. Use whatever cover paper you want. I'm using 12x12 craft scrapbooking paper for mine and then cut it to 9x12 inches. Fold it in half and then measure a half inch from the bottom. Cut triangles on a center fold and then crease the half inch flap using a bone folder or anything that has a dull edge. A butter knife works too. This will create a clean fold. I actually messed mine up and added a flap to the top as well and as you'll see later I'll be trimming that off. To bind the book, measure about 2 inches from the top and bottom of the center fold and mark it. Move in about a half inch from the first marks and then mark that. Use a push pin or any small sharp needle to poke holes through the pages and cover. Grab a single staple and insert it into the holes. You'll need two for this journal. Once you have that done, turn it around and fold the stapler ends to secure the book. Now pull away the cover and trim off the excess paper to create a clean edge using an X-Acto or matte knife. Make sure the blade is sharp to produce a nice cut. Now fold the cover back over and mark where the paper hits the cover. Crease the line and then fold it in. Now cut off the corners of the flaps to help the book lay flat. To attach the elastic, mark about an inch and a half from the top and bottom of the back of the book, and then mark about an inch from the side of the book. Create a cut that is the width of your elastic and then insert the elastic. Play around with the length until you're happy with the closure and then secure using hot glue. If you want, you can also cover the exposed ends of the elastic with another piece of craft paper to keep it super clean. And finally, it's time to finish the pockets. I created these shaped inserts for my pocket facing which will go into the flaps like so. Since I like to take things a step further, I printed on the pocket flaps using my laser printer and now I'm prepping it to be foiled. Using this reactive foil, I cut that to the size of the insert and put it into the sleeve I made by folding sketch paper in half. The sleeve will protect it from getting tangled in the laminator as it heats up the foil. So instead of buying the MIG press machine, I bought a laminator that basically does the same thing but at a lower cost. Feed that through the machine a few times until it bonds and now I have foiled stripes. It wasn't a perfect bond, but it looks pretty cool. Now use hot glue and secure the pocket facing into place. Close up your new journal using the elastic and you're done! Here's a final flip through of the journal. It lays flat and surprisingly the dots line up. I love how this turned out and I'm so excited to start my first bullet journal. Hopefully this will help keep me on schedule to be super productive. Subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more DIYs, inspirational chats, and more. Also follow me on Instagram for future giveaways and behind the scenes sneak peeks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!